Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about the joy of multiple monitors. Okay, so did you guys see the uh, Google I.O. keynote last night? I, I thought it was pretty cool. I, yesterday my, my video I said I, I was excited about it, but I was going to be grounded, you know, not get too excited about that kind of stuff. But it's hard not to. I'm, so, I'm such a sucker for like big keynotes and stuff. So, you know, a lot of really cool stuff coming out. Although it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that much. I mean, the, the Google lens was, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and, um, and every time I watch those kind of things, I think, I need to start using Google Cloud Platform more often. You know, they, I have an account. We've, we've tried a few things with that, but I really need to, to jump in there because it seems like they're like on the cutting edge. Uh, so anyway, I, I thought it was really, really cool. But today what I want to talk about, I want to answer a question that came in uh, five days ago on episode number uh, 87 from, uh, from Vinod Bihari Tiwari. Uh, he said, hey, Eric, why professional people have lots of PC screens? I don't understand, right? And, uh, and a few people answered that, uh, you know, I have three. I'm not professional. I'm still in high school. Uh, to use multiple software at the same time. Uh, Andrews Alves uh, said to answer, uh, to use multiple software at the same time, like Android Studio on one screen, Google Chrome and all that. And yeah, I mean, if you, ha if you just use one monitor, I mean, you haven't lived, right? This is one of the things I've, I found, you know, early on that you know when you code on one screen it, it's it's fine I mean that's what computers are built for but once you start using your multiple screens you find out you find it to be a lot more productive a lot of time spent switching from screen to screen and stuff like that and especially as a software developer I mean it's not I, I don't think it's so much as as like a normal person I think they're fine they're fine to be hunched down on a little laptop with the one screen and all that kind of stuff but a lot of times in software development you have loads of things going on at the same time like the, the perfect scenario here is like I might have uh, I might have like a database diagram on one screen, uh, the code on another screen, uh, and then uh, you know I might have like a task list or something somewhere else or Slack or something like that. So it's it's and it's it's easier just to glance back and forth than to go you know back screen to screen. I mean I'm, I could work on a laptop on its own, and you know sometimes I admire people who are really good with doing that kind of stuff because they're more you know portable. But you know, I just I really like working on, on multiple screens. So what I did today, which I don't normally do, because like you, you talk about my multiple screens, you don't know that you don't know all of it. So I moved my screen over a little bit so you can see this one here. So what I have, the way I work is I have um, in the office here, uh, and this wasn't the way at home. When I moved into an office, I kind of went a bit crazy, and every time I find a new, like a like a really cheap monitor on eBay, I'll, I'll pick it up. So on the two sides here, I've got. Dell 19 inch monitors. Uh, in the middle, I've got a 27 inch uh, Asus monitor, just like, you know, not very expensive, right? And they're all connected to my MacBook Pro, which is 15 inch MacBook Pro. So uh, these two on the sides are connected by a Firewire uh, adapters, and the, uh, the, HDM, the, the, the main one in the middle is connected by an HDMI cable. So it's, it's really, I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to do that and just do it. Like, I'll usually have the code on the big window. I'll have like a mock-up over here. I'll have a, you know, a, usually I'll have the simulator, like the emulator. It depends on what I'm working on. If it's a web page, then the web page that you refresh or, you know, the Ionic screen or all that kind of stuff or the, or the simulator on Android or iPhone. Right, and on this one, I might have Slack, or you know, if I'm doing a really repetitive job, like if you do something that you've just done over and over again, like a lot of copy paste work, I might even have like just YouTube playing over here, or you know, I might have a DVD playing, you know, just something like that. And it's, I mean, it's really geeky when you let this stuff get away. You know, just like, you know, um, you know, especially especially as a man, I think you know, we we have a tendency to just you know start setting things up the way we like have everything perfect like you spend so much time setting up everything to be productive that you're not even productive anymore because you focused on that so much so my so like when i was working in investment banks i used to get jealous of the like the um there were all these infrastructure guys that they would have like 10 monitors in front of them and they would just like with different stuff or like on the trading floor you know there's lots of people they have 10 monitors all connect you know that and they would just sit there and watch them and like I, I guess they were like security guards. Like, I mean, it wasn't that impressive, but I remember thinking, I'd love to have that, you know, that huge, you know, like huge desktop one day, you know. I don't know how they ever found their mouse cursors, right? Because that's, that's, one, that's one problem with this. You're like shaking the mouse, right? which screen is it on? But that was my one thing. And then like when they come out with uh, VR, like uh, the Oculus Rift and, and all that kind of stuff, 
the one thing I'd really like, and I don't think anybody's doing this, is I just want like to have the world's largest desktop, like a VR desktop. So you could just, you could work, you make the code window nice and big, you put your database diagram over here, you can put like maybe a to-do list behind you, and just like, just sort of work on this thing, headphones on, and be completely immersed in the code. Like, just like in this virtual coding world. I, that would be so awesome, but, you know, <laughs> I know you guys, I'm really geeking out now. So anyway, and the other thing that I have, so, so just to let you know, if you, if you don't work with multiple monitors, you know, it, you'll find that it's a, you, you're a lot more productive, especially as a developer if you do. And a lot of times because, you know, you can get like a cheap one for like this, you know, 10 pounds for these, these ones I have, you know, here. But I think you can get them even cheaper on eBay because everyone's trying to get rid of their old stuff so they can get the new HDMI, 4K, all that kind of stuff. So, so anyway, that's pretty cool. And the other thing, you may notice sometimes in these videos that I'm standing up, sometimes I'm sitting down. The other thing, when I moved into to uh, into an office and out of the house, when when you just got like more room and more, you know, just really you know, geek out with this stuff, is a, I have a standing desk or I have a Vera desk, which is propped up on here and so it rises and, and it lowers. So you may notice sometimes I'm sitting down when I make these videos, sometimes I'm standing up, and that's that's for this reason. So. You know, it, it, it came from like a Google spiral, you know, like, like you read something on stand-up desks and then you, you, then you read something else, you read something else, three days later you're absolutely convinced I need this, right? So I'm one of those guys, right? I'm terrible with this, with marketing and stuff. So, uh, so it's, it's really nice because uh, it just, you know, in the early mornings I'm usually, you know, sitting down, you, you come in, you know, well, it's very early, like so 4.30 and just sit down, you know, slouch down in the chair, you know, and uh, you know, put it all the way down, just coding away, you know, just nice and relaxed. Like after lunch in the afternoons when, you know, just feeling a bit tired and just like lazy and I really, I see my mind start to wander, then it's easier when I just sort of stand up and work a little bit. So, and usually like like two or three hours at a time, you know, and, and if I have meetings, so this is one, one of the big, but one of the big things in terms of working with clients, the, one of the best investments I made was to get an, a nice uh, webcam. So this is a, Logitech C9, C920 is what I did all the early videos on and uh, it, it's much nicer than using the actual MacBook screen where you're looking down looking down at the person and, and all that kind of stuff so a lot of the meetings we have it's um, you know I do it standing up too and, and, and everything's positioned to where I have the overpass logo in the background and not the the messy desk over here sometimes I get the messy desk in there too so anyway Enough rambling on. I just wanted to, to, for those of you who don't work with multiple monitors, it is really is cool. I'd like to hear how you guys have things set up. Like I said, it's totally a guy thing. Like if I, if I were a mechanic, I would have my garage set up a certain way and I'll be like, check out the way I've got all the wrenches labeled and everything. I mean, I think, I just think that's it. But as a computer programmer, as a, as a software developer, you have other things the way you like them. And you know, we, and we just, you know, there's a whole big industry there and stand-up desks and multiple monitors and everything like that so anyway that's it for today i will talk to you guys tomorrow